cleaning the SR-22 pistol. First thing we're going to need to do is break it down. No magazine in there. Safety is on. Rack the slide. Will not fire because it is safe. Need to put the indicator to red. Lock it back. Visually and physically inspect. No mag, no round. Excellent. Let it come forward. Flip this front latch. Take it back and lift. It comes right off. Spring and guide rod will fall right out. I'm going to leave them together for now. Put them off to the side. You have your slide. Put it off to the side and the barrel stays attached for cleaning. I'm going to go ahead and disengage the hammer now. Now when I clean I like to go ahead and have a nice surface but because I don't have to, so I don't have to wash this all the time I'll throw some cardboard down and spray. I'm just going to soak everything real quick. I'm not going to disassemble the slide at this time. I like to have a couple tools, some toothpicks for the nooks and crannies, some Q-tips. Later on when we get to the bore, I have a bore snake. But we're not there yet. A brush. And today the post solvent, ooh, I'm going to use solvent of Hops 9. Maybe some rim oil on the parts afterward. This stage of the game, I'm just going to apply generous coat of Hops 9 to the inside of the slide. The front here, the muzzle. There we go. Paying particular attention to the places where there would be carbon or residue from the firing of the 22 cartridge. Like right up here, for the extractor. You can see it's turning brown quickly. I'm not going to restick that in my hops, but the clean end only. It only gets one stick per part. Get that nice and wet. Some other time I'll go ahead and break it down further, but for today this will be good enough. Good enough. Let that sit wet. I'm going to remove the spring from the guide rod. This doesn't usually get too dirty and isn't necessary to do each time, but shot a couple 500 rounds through there, so it doesn't hurt. Now this piece is dirty too, but I'm just going to take wet sponge to the polymer there, but I'm going to get the barrel. Hops 9. Fresh cotton ball, or Q-tip, fresh Colleen one before I put it back in my container. Outside the barrel. And 22 cartridge. The Q-tip works fantastic for getting the interior of the barrel nice and wet with the hops 9. This is the dirty part. Right up here. This is where all the action happens. And the action And I don't have a pr any problem with extra hops. This goes dripping through the barrel because that's that's where I need it to break down that junk, that carbon. When you see it start to splinter away, I'm gonna get rid of it because you don't want to leave little pieces of cotton in there. That's awful. That's not good at all. Okay, I got it dripping wet. I'm gonna send some dripping wet hops down the barrel. some of these metal parts, hammer, the guide. I'm going to wipe it right off the guide. I'm going to wipe it right off the guide on both sides. Wiping it off the hammer. Not working too hard on that. Alright, All right, now I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. Let it kind of soak in there. Later on I'm going to take these toothpicks I'll kind of show you now. There's those thin nooks and crannies. The brush will get in there. I'll brush later. But right now I'm just going to kind of 
run the toothpick in those nooks and crannies, kind of loosen it up, kind of like the dentist does with his pick at the dentist office. Loosen up that build up. Sometimes those hard to reach places, the rear of the slide, a Glock or a 1911, start to hold on to that crud to get it out. The extractor. This little opening so you can see that there's a cartridge in there. I don't know if you can see how black that is. But I can write with it. That's how much crud I'm pulling out of there. The hops is helping by loosening that up. Again, I do not want to break the tip of a Q-tip off in there. That would be most unhelpful. It's kind of poking, poking at some of the build up here, getting into those tight nooks and crannies. All right, now I'm just going to let that sit for a bit. And I'll come back to it. Ugh, close up your hops. Ugh, hold them will stink. All right, after your hops is set on there for a while. Take a shop towel, rub out the inside. And you can see the slide isn't too bad, really. Not like the 1911 would be, ooh, filthy after 500 rounds, but this 22 and this particular SR22 pistol is not too bad. Clean side, I'm just going to wipe the outside off. There's always some drips that come out. From the muzzle here. Alright. Let's see what the guide rod looks like. Yeah, a little bit there. A little bit of residue. Barrel shouldn't be too bad. Fronts where you're going to get a lot of the stuff. Alright, let's run the boar snake through it. I always think about getting a second one of these, leaving one for the rifle and one for the pistols. Fed it through, goes out the way a bullet does. Give it a little pull. I don't want those brass scrapings on anything else other than the barrel. Alright. And I'm just, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just peeking down there to make sure if it looks clean. I don't know if that got on the film, so I'll do it again. Just going to feed the silver brass tip through there. Let it pop out the other side. I can see through there, it looks nice and clean. Alright. These boar snakes are fantastic. Take my ram oil here. Not my favorite, but it's doing a decent enough job. Pistol and most barrel, most of my pistols comes off, but in this one it doesn't, so I'll try not to make a huge mess. The polymer doesn't need any of this. Polymer, polymer. Put some down the barrel. What you can do is take your Q tip where it's beating up, or on the outside, you can kind of rub it on there, then send it down the barrel. 
Ah, still getting a little bit of crud there. I don't want to maybe take no more hops down there. And run the boar snake two more times. Alright, now I'm going to let that sit on there. Now this isn't the, all the lubrication I'm doing, it's just all I'm doing at this point. I'm going to let that sit in there to kind of seep in and soak up and get myself some fresh air. Alright. I ran the boar snake through. Got it clean with some hops nine. We'll wipe down that extra off. Oh, dripping everywhere. Dry Q tip. Okay. This slide is so incredibly light. It's made out of aluminum. And you see I'm still getting some more crud out of there. That's fine. That's why we're letting it soak and wiping it out. Cleaning it up. This is a quick cleaning. We're not submerging this in any solvent. We're not brushing the whole thing here. We're just getting it clean. Putting on the protective coating. Mind you, at this point we haven't even used the brush yet. I find, and I don't know if there's any rationale to this or any science behind it, but after I put the hops on, let it soak in, scrub it off, my patch will come out clean, but then I'll put a bit of lubrication on there, whether it be this or barricade or any, maybe even barristall, even sometimes I haven't had that in a long time, but I'll get some more following and junk that'll come off. That's looking good. Can't quite get in this little hole there. There we go. So now I've wiped it as dry as this paper towel is going to take it. And that's fine. Alright, I'm not going to mess any further with the spring and guide rods. I'm going to set that over here. I want to clean further on this. This piece looks fine. I'm just going to lube it, but that's right before we reassemble it. So I'm going to concentrate on the slide. This is where most of the dirt is that I didn't get with the barrel. So now I'm going to take my brush. I'm just going to work it in there. Oh, that's looking good. I'm going to get the grooves where it rides along the frame. Right, so this part of the frame rides right along here. That's the part you followed it back. We'll need to follow it to put it back on. It's looking pretty good. Now I can see where the riding back and forth has worn some of the black off. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah, really not too dirty. It's a pretty clean pistol, really. Most of this is coming just from my dirty brush. It's dirtier from the brush. All right, it's looking real good. All right, a little spray on the Q-tip. Any kind of junk that got in there from my cleaning, I'm gonna try to pull it on the Q-tip. It's coming off clean, liking that, liking that. All right, let's get some actual lubrication in here. Got some hops nine uh, lubricating oil. Put a drop where the slide goes against the frame, both sides. Put a drop here and here. I'm gonna take my Q-tip, a clean one. Here's a clean side. I'm just gonna rub that in. Now it's not actually soaking. It's not like I'm putting stain on wood, but I'm just kind of letting a nice thin coat of this all over in there. All right. Put a drop on the here. Work that in all over the side here. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice glisten. I'm going to put it right in here. Just 
the residue because the barrel goes in and out of the slide here and along the bottom edge. And again, I didn't put another drop on there, just the oil that's already on it. And you can pay particular attention to where you see the markings of where it wears back and forth. You want to make sure that's nice and lubed. Finger's a little oily, so I'm going to use the paper towel there. Got some drops in the barrel. I'm just going to rub that in on the muzzle there. Some people will tell you don't put any oil there. That's a fine idea. I just do. Put it on and I wipe it off. Is there some there? You betcha. But I leave the barrel nice and lubed. Right here on the side. The slide runs. A couple light drops. Use my clean but yet already oiled side Q-tip. Slide that around. The ledge there where it rides. The top. Oh, it's looking good. I'm going to put one here, a hammer, and one on the spring. Okay. Let's cut the hammer. Okay. So now I'm going to assemble it. Ugh. Should have wore gloves. Alright. Put your guide rod and slide in there. I like the. It's a little tricky, but not too bad. And you find the groove here. Oops, gotta put, put it on fire. Cock the hammer. Pull it all the way back. A lot of times it will get stuck here. It's going to kind of pull it back and wiggle. If I pull the hammer back lightly, that's the trick. Got to go right through. It's so shiny still because it's all kind of oiled. That's what we like. It's the Teflon. And the oils from their own oil. That's fine. I leave that on there. Try not to get it all over my polymer here. Oops. Oh, you know what I did? I did a dumb thing. Got to put it back. Got to latch it. There we go, now it's locked. Now I can do my function check. Excellent, I'm going to lock it back. Excellent, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Then I'm going to come with a cloth and wipe the outside of it. Do another function check. Maybe put another dot of oil in there where it rides. We'll see. Got my cloth. It may look dirty, but it's actually clean. That's just the decocker safety. Nothing to be alarmed about. All right. Just gonna rub the slide. Now it's sat for a while here. This isn't real time. So I let it kind of get into the metal there, that oil. Now I'm just wiping off a little bit with the cloth. That's what I'm going for. Shiny, unfingerprinted, no oils from my hands, just oils from the gun oils. And look at that, nice shine. I don't know if you can catch the light glimmering off it. Oh, and about this. Why do I leave that sticker there? I just figure I'll leave it there for a little while. That way you can tell the age of my videos. This pistol's still very new to me. After a while, it'll come off and then you'll know early to late videos. I don't know if that's any use, but for whatever reason, I'm doing it. Anyway, I'm looking over it. Looks nice. I don't see any buildup oil anywhere. Don't see any crud. Well, I see a little crud right there. There we go. It's looking sharp. Do a little function check. You hear that? Right there is the transition. Kind of just how this pistol is. All right. Put another drop right here. Because on this one, it actually kind of runs tight. Yeah. All right. Now 
that I'm all done, this goes to the wash, or maybe not quite yet. This gets put away, these get thrown away. Use this to dry my hands in a second, these go for next time. Any extra went onto the green, absorbed this, gets thrown away. This isn't just repurposed cardboard, now it's in the trash with all the stink and the junk. And voila, we have a clean pistol. Thanks for watching.